The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus passed through the towns and villages, teaching as he went and making his way to Jerusalem. Someone asked him, Lord, will only a few people be saved? Jesus answered them, Strive to enter through the narrow gate, for many, I tell you, will attempt to enter, but will not be strong enough. After the master of the house had had arisen and locked the door, then you will stand outside knocking and saying, Lord, open the door for us. He will say to you in reply, I do not know where you are from. And you will say, we ate and drank in your company, and you taught in our streets. Then he will say to you, I do not know where you are from. Depart from me, you evildoers. And there will be wailing and grinding of teeth when you see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God and you yourselves cast out. And people will come from the east and the west and from the north and the south and will recline at table in the kingdom of God. For behold, some who are last will be first and some who are first will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, We're now in the... uh, very famous eighth chapter of St. Paul's letter to the Romans. And uh, today, in the beginning of uh, this passage, he says this maybe mysterious thing. The Spirit comes to our aid in our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes with inexpressible groanings. As baptized members of the body of Christ, we are not left to our own uh, resources uh, to cope with our problems. Even when we don't have the right words to pray, even when we're not really sure what it is that we should pray for, St. Paul tells us that the Holy Spirit prays with us and for us. And with the Holy Spirit praying within us, the Father answers our prayers. With the Holy Spirit, and think about this, the Holy Spirit within you, with the Holy Spirit helping us to pray, praying within us. We come before the altar in the presence of the Father with a great confidence. Today, ask God, the Holy Spirit, to intercede for you, to pray within you, according to the will of God, as St. Paul says. Then, if the Spirit is praying in you, when you bring your requests here to the Father, simply trust that he will always do what is best for you. Good prayer throughout the day is from Psalm 13, today's Response, my hope, O Lord, is in your mercy. Please stand.